All right, welcome back, guys. We are playing the Delhi Sultanate again. We're back to our favorite Civ for now, at least. And uh, we're playing against the Chinese on high view. So it should be a fun game, that's for sure. Um, let's go over to gold now. So yeah, um, we played two matches on Mongolian Heights before this one. Um, and I kind of struggled on that map. You know, I've been really struggling on the hybrid and, and open, uh, closed maps, rather. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure something out. Um, of strategies and figuring out how we can get better at it uh, but for now we're going to be playing a bit of Delhi okay they're going to make two trips and we're going to get a lumber camp as well eventually okay these guys go to food this guy needs to just pick up 10 wood. So the build order is a little bit off, but we're just adjusting on the fly. It's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go around the edges of the map. Go to gold again now. Now we go to wood. So yeah, I mean, I've been having a think about going for the Dome of the Faith versus Tower of Victory, and I just, I don't know, recently I've really liked playing with the Tower of Victory, so I think we're going to stick with that. Especially with the Chinese, we want to be aggressive here. I don't really want Chinese to boom away. Um, that's pretty important, I feel. Uh, that's what we'll do. Not many sheep, though. It's kind of concerning. I mean, we are obviously going to focus on the berries anyway, but still. Control group four there. Hockey, rather. No, control group, yeah. There we are. So we can get the uh, landmark being built soon. Just 20 more gold, and we should be able to do it. Although, no, we were late to food, so we will be a little bit delayed on that. That's fine. We want to find the sacred sites, really, ideally, here. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get forestry. Only smokes. If we run into our opponent's scout again, that'd be kind of annoying if that happened, because I feel like we don't have many sheep, and it's because our opponent's taking them all, damn it. Okay, we're going to open double blacksmith as usual with the deli. Me, anyway. And then archers against. It is Chinese we're up against. Yeah, that means. Okay. I don't know why they just stop taking berries sometimes when the berry patches run out. It's kind of annoying. Uh, not found. Okay, we found one sacred site. We found his sacred site. Take one off gold just to build that a little bit. I'm going to go around the back of our base. Sometimes I have very bad scouting around the back of our base, and there might be like key resources, you know, safe resources like berries and stuff there. So we'll go there for now. Going back to gold there. You guys can go back to wood. Might as well drop off the sheep actually. Okay, let's get some archer ranges. Let's just get one. We'll get one. Oops, I would want that one. Sanctity. 
get the upgrades here. And yeah, looking be okay now, I think. More or less. Oh god, why is he over there? That was not intended. Okay, one more to wood, and then we'll go to food here. Actually, we're a bit low on food here. Oh, don't do that. Oh, we need to get the blacksmith down. Horseman, okay. That's actually a problem for us because we're going to need uh, some spears then. Don't have the wood for it just yet though. Or the food economy for it. Oh wait, an iron under mesh, siege engineering. Oh my god, what is going on here? Who on that? That. Barbican then. Okay, okay, okay. He's going quite heavy on gold, isn't he? Holy smokes, he's going for a fast castle. Yeah, we're in trouble actually. Yeah. We need to move out now. I feel like I struggle against the Chinese as well because the fact that they get the barbecue in the sun it really protects them. We need to not get housed like that so badly. We need to do some damage now. I think we supervise the barracks after this. Actually, do we... I think maybe we just build a second barracks rather than supervising it. I want to get start getting sacred sites. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, it's going up to the next stage. Oof.
So we're going to lose a lot here, but he's lost a couple of villagers, at least. Come on, get the Imperial Fisher at least. Okay. So now we've really got to back off, and we've got to somehow get to the uh, Castle Age ourselves, which is just not going to happen anytime soon. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. I think all we can do really is wall up, but we don't have... It's such an open map that walling up is not really a possibility here. Yeah, a bit lost what to do here. I think we're going to have to uh, somehow try and get to the next stage. Don't really have the economy for this. Um, we have some backberries at least. We've got some deer there. Not going to need the siege engineering for now. So it's probably going to go for palace guards. So we've got the ranges at least, we can go for crossbows behind that. But we somehow need to get to the next stage. I think we need to sell some wood. So it's going to go for, what, well, it's going for professional scouts, I think? Yeah, let's go for professional scouts, okay. So it's certainly playing the long game. Uh, do we have some more berries somewhere? I was quite exposed there, I'm afraid. I'm not going to be able to get that. Now we just have to get to the next stage, really. So he went. We need to see what he's doing. Such a fatal flaw that we often find myself doing. What's he doing? Is he going for palace guards? Is he going for horsemen? What? What's that? Because he's got a lot of scouts, that's for sure. Actually, let's supervise. Uh, we'll, we'll get another. I'll have to go there. Wait, is that scholar still chilling there? It's not. What's he got? Scouts there? Yeah, okay, Lancers. Okay, so we're going to have to get crossbows, that's for sure. Get the upgrades, at least. Okay, that's annoying. We need to go to wood and transfer to farms, I guess. Oh my god, we're so badly housed. We just forgot houses today. Oh, 
It's got Mr. Bees as well, that's the real issue here. Oh my god, they're not building it. Oh, for goodness sake, that's really bad. I think we're going to need some uh, stables. I'm going to go back to gold. We can still go for spears, actually. Oof, the Mr. B's there. Yes, yeah, feel like instead of going for spears, we need uh, we need horsemen. Let's not throw our army. Let's build up. Let's build up. Let's go forward here. I feel like we don't need to supervise this anymore. We need to supervise the uh, tables. Snipe the. Uh, basically, snipe those. Uh, maybe we start picking up some relics. I think that'd be a good idea. We need to take a really good effective fight, I feel. Farms up there. No, 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 go for the nest of bees, go for the nest of bees. Go siege engineering? Yeah, we do. Definitely deny that. Oh, 
جیان من خودت هم در جام به سامان شد این نکس همی تازم نشانه این بعد میدیری نامک فرمان I think we need to, uh, look at the stone there, I guess. Definitely didn't need to deny that castle. Let's get another ram. Push that position. What's it getting? Getting Jukunu and whatnot. Jukunu spears. So we can just go mass archers then, I think, more or less. Wait, can we? Yeah, let's get a keep. We need wood, 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 wood. This is a pretty ballsy castle, I have to say. Ballsy keep for me. Don't know if it will go up. No, 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 don't go in. Oh my god, they nearly went in. GG. Ooh, nearly got wallowed because of my own problem, really, and he went into the actual zone. Holy smokes. So it's actually quite nice. I feel like um, we reacted much better in this game, guys. Um, I'm actually quite, really quite happy about this game because I think a lot of my previous games, I often got pigeonholed into just going full feudal. And I, I would very rarely recognize when needing to go to the castle age, but I feel like this time... We took a bit of a breather. We kind of realized, actually, you know, we're not on a huge amount of rush. I think he missed a window to push, actually, when he was in Castle Age. Um, we got up to the Castle Age relatively quickly, I suppose, in a way, after recognizing we needed to, I feel. I feel like the reaction time was a lot better in this game than it has been in the past. And I feel like, therefore, going to the Castle Age really enabled me to get the crossbows out to counter basically what he was going to go for, which appeared to be lances and man-at-arms, or, you know, what do they get? Palace guards, that's it. Um, and him trying to deny, I feel like that keep was a little bit of a waste for him. Like if he had a keep, maybe well, it's not really got that much space to be fair. Um, yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky. He was, he was in two town center song booming. So I think that probably hurt him quite a lot. His village account, I'm expecting to be very high. Uh, yeah, well, relatively high, 85 to 73. That's pretty high actually, uh, compared to mine, a good, you know, 12 villages in uh, advantage to him. Um, he had a very nice castle age time, 10 minutes, um, considering we're professional scouts as well, it seems. Uh, but I suppose military numbers, that's probably where we took the lead, maybe? Well, it must have been, right? Uh, military count. Yeah, this is where we kind of really were aggressive. This is where he got to the castle age, I thought, oh, snap. I think also what helped is that he lost a lot of villages here, I suspect. Um, not a lot, but a decent number. So it put him back a little bit. So I feel like this is a very common trend in my games where I'm going very heavy feudal age, opponent gets to castle age, 
But because I've got a decent amount of military, I can get some villager picks. I feel that's very important to get their villager numbers down for them. Because then it means they can't afford all that much when they're in Castle Age. And that buys me a window of opportunity, a bit of time here, for me to get up to the Castle Age myself. And I think that's super important. Um, I think that's what I've realised. I believe there was, a, I think it was my fourth placement game I played against the French and Altai. And something similar happened where he got to the Castle Age. I managed to kill a lot of villagers. But what happened on that game, and the reason why I lost, I feel, is because I didn't get to that Castle Age time behind it. Like, I didn't react quick enough. And in fact, I delayed the Castle Age time longer on that game. So I think now, this time, we're learning, we're learning, that's for sure. Um, getting to the Castle Age time a bit quicker when we see our opponent is, means we can match them tech-wise. And uh, I think also, we were a little bit slow in this game to find out actually what units he was going for. Um, I feel like maybe producing a scout or two would be quite useful just to find out. Uh, we did find out in the end, but I feel like it could have been a bit quicker. But yeah, guys, any advice, any tips you can give, do drop them in the comment section below. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I certainly loved playing this game, and uh, hopefully I shall see you guys on the next Ranked Ladder game. Take care, guys, and see you next time.